Welcome to Football Daily, where today we're counting down 10 of the most hipster clubs around. 10. Midtjylland So hipster we struggle to pronounce their name properly, Danish club Midtjylland came to international attention in 2014 when Matthew Benham, the owner of Brentford, bought them. Benham instituted a radical stats-based approach to player recruitment and tactics, and Midtjylland won the Danish title in 2014-15, their first domestic championship. The team's statistical scouting has thrown up young stars like midfielder Pione Sisto and the amazingly named Patrick Bangard. With a famous victory over Manchester United in the Europa League and inventive set-piece routines, you're sure to see a few Midtjylland shirts around before too long. 9. Olympique Lyonnais Admittedly a huge club in France, Lyon have long been popular abroad for their commitment to producing young talent. Karim Benzema and Hugo Lloris made their names at the club, while the current squad includes Alexandre Lacazette, Samuel Umtiti and Nabil Fakir. After seven successive Ligue 1 titles between 2001 and 2008, Lyon have gone full hipster by failing to win it since, picking up a single Coupe de France in the last eight seasons. If you want to know who your club will be buying in three years, pack your moustache wax and get down to the Stade des Lumières. 8. Fiorentina the only team to make purple cool, Fiorentina remained the first love of everyone who watched Football Italia in the 90s. Coached by Claudio Ranieri, the squad was packed full of talent like Rui Costa, Andrei Kanchelskis and Gabriel Batistuta, but won almost nothing, despite beating Manchester United and Arsenal in the Champions League. Since then, La Viola have thrived under Italian managers like Cesare Prandelli and Vincenzo Montella and have made quality players of journeymen like West Brom cast-off Borja Valero and Blackburn reject Nikola Kalinic. And they've remained in Serie A despite suffering a points deduction after the Cauciopoli scandal. 7. Ajax European giants Ajax have always been hipster-friendly thanks to their conveyor belt of attractive football and gifted players, from Johan Cruyff to Marco van Basten to Dennis Bergkamp. And the club's 1995 Champions League triumph, in a 3-4-3 diamond formation, cemented the Amsterdam team's place at the pinnacle of footballing cool. Ajax also have a history of anti-racism, as fans label themselves super-Jews and oppose anti-Semitism thanks to the Jewish roots of the area around the stadium. And coupled with an impressive academy, the club's focus on heritage and local pride keeps its bohemian appeal strong. 6. Real Oviedo Spanish side Real Oviedo had endured more than a decade of financial difficulties by 2012, when bankruptcy looked like a certainty. But the Asturians called on their supporters for help, putting shares up for sale in an attempt to raise 2 million euros. Former stars like Juan Mata and Santi Cazorla bought in, along with charitable foreigners, and closure was prevented. Since then, Carlos Slim Helu, one of the world's richest men, has bought a controlling share in the club. But Oviedo's salvation remains an example of what committed fans can do together, a triumph of hipster generosity. 5. St. Pauli The all-brown kit of St. Pauli has long appealed to the football connoisseur, and the fans have only increased the cool factor by their adoption of the skull and crossbones as the unofficial club emblem. Hailing from a poor area of Hamburg, St. Pauli's fans were a mix of workers and artists, and progressive politics are ingrained in the team's DNA. The first German side to ban neo-Nazis, the Freibeuter, have opposed racism, championed gay rights and they boast the largest proportion of female fans in the country. St. Pauli are the punks of the Zweite Bundesliga and impossible not to love. 4. Rayo Vallecano Atletico are often called Madrid's working-class club, but the truth is that Rayo Vallecano are the true team of the people. Playing an attractive brand of football under Paco Jemez, Rayo are committed to going for wins, reasoning that draws a little use to teams fighting relegation. Rayo couldn't give a shit about making money, leaving one end of their stadium a simple concrete wall, and they changed the sash on their kit to a rainbow in 2015, donating the money from sales to causes such as cancer research, anti-homophobia, child protection, protection and the environment. 3. Athletic Bilbao Along with organic, local is a hipster's favourite word, and no team is more committed to that term than Athletic Club de Bilbao. The Basques have self-imposed restrictions on transfers, only allowing themselves to buy players with Basque heritage, and bringing through talent like Iker Muniain, Ander Herrera and Javi Martinez. Athletic are the only club besides Real Madrid and Barcelona never to have been relegated from La Liga, and the club is owned and operated by its members, making Los Leones the perfect antidote to the free-spending circuit of the big two. 2. 
Portland Timbers. Located in the hipster capital of the world, MLS side Portland Timbers can claim to have some of the best fans in North America, and they have perfected the lumberjack aesthetic, with their mascot cutting around from a tree log after every home team goal. The slice is then presented to the scorer, and the Timbers plant a tree for every goal to protect the environment. Providence Park has never failed to sell out a game, and snacks on sale at the stadium include barbecued tofu and chocolate-covered bacon. Even Shoreditch thinks that's taking the piss. 1. Union Berlin Union Berlin became a club of outsiders after spending the years of Soviet rule overshadowed by the state police-controlled Dynamo, fostering a sense of community which led fans to donate blood when their team faced bankruptcy in 2004, raising £1.5 million. When improvements to the stadium stretched club finances, more than 2,400 volunteers worked on the stadium for free, completing it in 300 days. Every Christmas, nearly 20,000 Union supporters gather to sing carols for 90 minutes, plus stoppage time, and many brought sofas to the ground to watch games together during the World Cup. Truly more than a club, Union is the most hipster side of all, and had to be our number one. So if you enjoyed our 10 most hipster clubs, why don't you check out our mates at Kick? They've done a brilliant video on the five ways Leicester shot the Premier League this season by clicking the i button just there or the video on screen. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe to both of us.